salam binyi molu takitala abotaji atata falastin di ngol wuluji ayi ndo samana ko saf musoru saim kul kenya kamala anata ismaila fi maka alay salam ayi ishaqa tu jana ishaqa wulu tajele faye yakuba wulu alay salam wa yakub ikafole ko israil yakuba bije ay di ngol wulu inata na yusuf bulato o problemo ko non inshallah fana mina lale nyato suratu yusuf kadom ndina fale jandro yusuf bire ya sambe tata wa fi masra le egypt ya wa fi wolat asita egypt bire amman sayata je nabiy molam fanko be banta inshallah la ko mina nyato la inshallah in ka fenna no majan wala mo intiko bira sita misra ay jemara ako ya fama ni ndimba ya be sambana ibe bota falastin wala nyama kamuru egypt isita egypt itarta jele fo musa fana wulu to bani israel la kono alayhi salam fir'auna yo toro be ke wumolle la alana ta musa fana ma koy aningil bota ke bondi misra banko kan ako ye muru yeta falastin eta si u banko to dami yalon ko je seniyatale misil molla sabatu lalam jeti aka wona fa yeyam wa idh wa tumira qala musa musa ko li qaumihi ala muli ya qaumi aku ya tal namulu udkhulul ard al muk wa idh qala musa tuma minna musa ko li qaumihi ala muli ya qaumi atal namulu udkuru ni'mat allah alaykum al ala la ni'mu mira min kali idh ja'ala fikum anbiya tuma ma ina bi mulu taral kono wa wa ja'ala kum mulukan ayalika man sakawluti wa atakum ayfdiri kalla ma fan lam yuti ahadam min al alamin amma min di kilin nadafi wal kono ya qaumi atalun namulu udkhulul ard al muqaddasat allati aludun min banku senun kono mi yalon ko kataba allah lakum alay wal safali wa la tartadu wal kana muru على ادباركم الكوم كان فتنقلبوا على سنا يلما خاسرين عليك كسار مولتي قالوا اكايك يا موسى ات موسى ان فيها قوما مول بن يندن كراتو دي جبارين من كتمو كانتو كولن باتي مو كولن بالم الو جام فتا يسمو سوتو ادون كلالا بالم wa inna antaldu lan nadkhulaha ntadunna nyim banko kan hatta yakhruju minha funi telefon titaje fa in yakhruju minha ni telefon titaje fa inna dakhiluna utumun telbina dunnale qala rajulani kayf lako min alladhina yakhafuna mulukuna min yalan koy kasila an amallahu alayhima ala nemata mo fuloluma limana yala udkhulu alayhim albab aldu kan satew nyum bundala fa idha dakhaltumuhu naldun tajela doron fa innakum ghalibuna atallebe kala nor laluti wa ala allahi fatawakkalu wa ala allahi fatawakkalu ali sembenin alala ali etintin alakan in kuntum mu'minina nata tikira limana ya moti qalu kaye ko ya musa ite musa inna antalde lan nadkhula ha nta dunna ni saate ko no abadan mu meke madamu fiha madama ni molu bije fadhab anta ite taban wa rabbuka ni mariyo faqatila alfululi yekelendi inna ha huna qaiduna ntel den tel besila jannam manta dawada qala rabbi akum mari musa akum mariyo inni ntade la amlikum man fi wa fi mara illa nafsi fanfan wa akhi an badimma ففرق بيننا صفات الدروكن تيما وبين القوم الفاسقين نمول من يالون كو فاسقولم قال فانها محرمه عليهم اكاي كو ني ساتو ابي حرام نمول ما 40 سنه سنج تناني يتي هنا في الارض ابي ترلا مرمرنا بانكو كي بي فليرين فلا تاسى للقوم الفاسقين كان اني وكان كيا مول كم من يالون كو فاسقولم ولدي سنج تناني بي مرمرنا ni la da min ni wulta sute murumunta ika muruna wadi dinkira kile unato alma mbeta nkala alala yanka nkatoma mbalo la leja mfuwa atikote
for the news in summary with me at MECC. Senegal's new High Commissioner to the Gambia, His Excellency Baba Karjan, has formally taken up his post with promises of a better future in relations between Banjul and Dakar. The veteran broadcaster who served in the Jew, Fuad and Sal administrations had his credential accepted by the President, His Excellency Sheikh Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya Jame, on Wednesday during his first official visit to the State House. Wednesday was Ash Wednesday and Christians around the world started 40 days of prayer, fasting and penance. The faithful are following in the footsteps of Jesus who was said to have fasted for 40 days and nights in the desert where he was, at, where, where he was tempted by Satan. The period of fasting will end on Good Friday, the day when Jesus, according to scriptures, was kneeled on the cross to salvage mankind from sin after which he rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. The Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs Tuesday afternoon inspected a warehouse full of food and non-food items. The items were part of a con significant consignment donated by the federal government of Nigeria to the Gambia government. Meantime, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in the Gambia and Humanity First have jointly donated 200 bags of rice and an additional sum of $10,000 to disaster victims across the country. The assortment of Made in Africa products on display at the ongoing Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industries Trade Fair has caught the eye of the Vice President and Women's Affairs Minister. Aja Dr. Asad Njai Sidi visited the fair after which she shared her impressions with GRTS. The Director General of Gambia Radio and Television Services, Al Haji Lamin Maga, yesterday received in his office officials of the Bissau Guinean Television. The delegation that comprises senior officials of Guinea Bissau Television and headed by the Director General is in the Gambia to strengthen the existing cooperation between the two institutions as well as discuss new technical agreements. Contributions of various stakeholders towards eradicating the poor public image of the insurance industry was the topic of a seminar organized by the Insurance Association of the Gambia. The program is among a string of events staged by the body to popularize services provided by insurance companies. Father Joseph Gough, founder of the Gough Foundation, recently donated a sum of 5,000 U.S. dollars to Jambi Foundation for Peace. The Catholic priest, who helped develop several young Gambian athletes in the 80s, says he made the donation to strengthen the foundation's efforts at developing health and education sectors. Well, to news from elsewhere, a huge fire outbreak in a Douala neighborhood has left four people dead. The blaze, according to reports monitored on Radio Cameroon, says that the fire started after a family resorted to using candles in the wake of constant power cuts. Angry residents are calling for the resignation of the head of the local power supplier. 
jobs, immigration, and gun control. Last night, President Obama focused much of his State of the Union address on domestic policy. In his annual speech to a joint session of Congress, Mr. Obama also called on lawmakers to work together.